Before this video starts, I'd like to say a big thank you to Abed and his father, Mr. Yousef, who helped me with this video and patiently answered all my questions. Definitely check out Abed on his social media channels. You can find the links on the video description below. Esports Stories presents The Story of Abed. Abed, whose real name is Abed Azel Yusup, was born on the 2nd of August 2000 in Das Marinas in the province of Cavite, Philippines. Abed was raised and grew up in Das Marinas with his parents and his older brother, Ahmed. His parents own a small internet cafe, which is located right next to Abed's home. This resulted in a very early contact with computers and computer games. At the age of three, Abed was already able to read and chat with other players while playing the first online game of his life, Gunbound. At the age of seven, Abed discovered Dota and instantly became a fanatic about the game. Abed was always the youngest player amongst his playmates, who were usually twice his age. Nevertheless, Abed managed to stay one of the top players among their group. One day, Abed's teacher at the elementary school asked everyone to write an essay about themselves. The young Abed did not have to think about it for a long time and instantly started writing about his ambition to be one of the best Dota players in the world. At only age seven, he already knew exactly which direction his life should take. During these early days, Abed also played a lot of computer games like Counter-Strike or Ragnarok. However, when he entered sixth grade, he stopped playing computer games at the Internet Cafe and only used the computer to stay in touch with his friends via Facebook. Abed was always described as a friendly kid who did a lot of outdoor activities with his friends in their neighborhood. They would meet after school and play basketball or simply roam around the neighborhood. On top of that, Abed participated in some school activities, like basketball and academic competitions, and was constantly in the top five students from his preschool through elementary school. The transfer to a new school in 2012 was one of the cornerstones of the gaming career for Abed. His new schoolmates invited Abed to play Dota with them, and they already played on a high level. Due to Abed's level of play, he quickly became part of the local team and participated in his first local Dota tournament. At the age of 13, Mr. Yusup decided to give Abed his first personal computer, not only to allow his son privacy while doing homework for school, but also to continue playing computer games. It was around this time Abed migrated to Dota 2, and after only three months of having his own PC, he was already one of the top five players of Dota 2 in the Southeast Asia leaderboard. Abed quickly became known as the pub star with his signature heroes Meepo and Invoker. With his passion for Dota, the time to study shrank and shrank, but his parents always reminded Abed to prioritize his studies over anything else. Abed's father stated, if he wants to continue playing Dota, he should learn to manage his time properly, be disciplined and responsible for himself. Abed took this mindset very seriously and only played after school and on the weekends. He continued to be a responsible student and try hard to manage his time and play Dota. It was at this time Abed's parents realized that Dota 2 can change the life of their son and could be the career path for him. We saw how serious he was playing Dota. We believed that he had a strong potential because of his skills, determination, and discipline. His father used to sit behind him and watch him play, even though he did not understand anything about Dota at that point. In March 2015, Abed joined the Filipino team Trackmate Trick, which was formerly known as the MSI Squad. Due to the change of sponsors, the team continued to play under the name Trackmate Trick. During his time at Trackmate Trick, Abed was introduced to RR and quickly became friends with him. After playing several pub games together, RR would play a key role in Abed's career. Only a few months later, in June of 2015, Abed decided to leave Team Trackmate Trick to refocus on his studies. He eventually joined the Australian-based team CSW and left it shortly afterwards due to personal reasons. I believe it was RR who recommended me to execration in 2015. Abed recalled in an interview later. As he left CSW, he was promptly approached by the manager of the Filipino team, Execration, as the team was scouting for a new player. Abed immediately told his parents about the offer and its attractive benefits. However, Abed denied the offer as he was worried that his studies might be affected negatively. However, the management of Execration did not want to let go of Abed, and in January of 2016, they contacted him again with the offer to join Team XCTN. 
Abed was still unsure about making a final decision, and his father was the one who encouraged him to give it a try. We believe that you can manage your time, study, and play at the same time. Be responsible, disciplined, and always stay the Abed that we know. On the 26th of January, and with the full support of his family, Abed decided to finally join Team Execration. Not only was a monthly salary included with this sponsorship, but also the ability to travel to international events. Abed also considers this as the real start of his professional career. In June of 2016, Abed and his team received a wild card for the International 2016 through a third-place finish at the Southeast Asia Qualifier. At the age of only 15, he was able to attend the biggest Dota 2 event with a prize pool of over $20 million. So, Abed was not only the youngest player in the entire tournament, but it was also his first trip overseas to Seattle, Washington in the United States. However, Team Execration was not able to make it to the group stages, as they lost their match in the lower bracket finals against Escape Gaming. Due to his attendance at TI6, Abed received a lot of recognition in the Dota scene, both locally and internationally. His schedule became more and more hectic, and going to school every day would become very difficult for him. So, he and his parents decided to switch to an online studies program. Four days after his 16th birthday, on the 6th of August, 2016, Abed was able to reach 8K MMR with a staggering performance on Ember Spirit and a final score of 18 kills, 1 death, and 17 assists. In September 2016, the whole team set off to Malaysia where the MPGL Southeast Asian Championship took place. It was a start-to-finish flawless tournament for Team Execration. With a dominant performance in the Grand Finals versus MVP Phoenix, Abed and his team could secure the championship in two matches, which only lasted for 20 and 22 minutes. In early December 2016, Abed attended the Asus Republic of Gamers Sea Cup in Thailand with Team Execration, as they received a direct invite from the organizer. The team found their way into the Grand Finals through the upper bracket without losing a single game. Team Execration was facing against the Singapore-based team Faceless and was already given a 1-0 lead as the upper bracket winner. Team XCTN won their first match, but lost the following two games, so the score was 2-2, and the last match would reveal the winner. The final game lasted for 1 hour and 26 minutes, and through a great team performance, added by an astonishing gyrocopter play, Abed and his team were able to win the tournament and a prize money of $15,000. One of the most unforgettable moments of my career was the final match against Faceless in the Asus ROG C Cup in Thailand. It was an epic 90-minute game, and we came out on top, Abed reflected later in an interview. However, Abed decided to leave Team Execration on the 30th of December 2016, and he officially announced, I made this difficult decision in order to take a short break and later pursue my career in a different working environment. Only seven days later, on the 6th of January 2017, Demon announced on his Twitter page that Abed would join Team Onyx. Team Onyx was registered on the 1st of January to compete in the Kiev Major. On the 10th of March, 2017, Team Onyx attended the Kiev Major 2017 North America Qualifier and was able to win against Complexity Gaming in the Grand Finals. Beyond the Summit wrote about Abed on the day of the finals. Onyx's Abed is playing out of his mind. Insanity! A couple of days later, on the 19th of March, 2017, Abed was able to reach 9,000 MMR, becoming the first Filipino to reach this milestone. His family remembers that social media reactions were overwhelming. Esports websites, Twitter, Facebook pages and groups posted news articles about Abed for several days. On the 14th of April, 2017, Digital Chaos signed the whole squad of Team Onyx and the co-founder of Digital Chaos, Thomas Hancock, announced, we believe in the Onyx squad and what they can do, and we will provide them with the best playing environment we can. Ten days later, the team attended the Kiev Major 2017, but was only able to finish in the 9th to 16th spot and walked away with a check in the amount of $62,500. Today, Abed is one of the highest paid, if not the highest paid Filipino Dota player. 
His ultimate goal for the future is to win TI and establish a business of his own. What do you think about Abed? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time on Esports Stories.